Hi everyone, it's Nicole. I'm here to work on So Many Books, So Little Time by Diamond Art Club. It is a 56 by 109 centimeters or 22 by 43 inch. It is a square diamond painting. It has 53 inches and I'm working on my third section down that is four inches and within the next you know couple sessions I should finish this session look at all these extra <laughs> these extra diamonds just hanging out there we're gonna get those off okay I think we're gonna start with black which is 310 which for me is container seven and I love that I name that I number these so the next diamond painting that I do I don't have to like put you know there's almost always a 310 but there's some colors let's say if it was 321 well the next one may not have 321 another thing I did is I put the number on the bottom too because sometimes I mean black you can pretty much kind of figure it out but Sometimes the colors, if I have two or three containers open, all of a sudden, like the cover goes with what, right? So it's nice to have the cover on the bottom. Now, one thing is today, I it's pretty early still. Well, when I started getting ready, it was like 8.30 by the time, you know, by the time I made my coffee and took everything out and set up, it's now 8.50 that I'm starting. Um, and it the reason there hasn't been a video in a few weeks, it's there's been kind of an adjustment <laughs> to things, to the way I can do things around here, if you will. I started watching my daughter's baby um, a couple weeks ago now. This will be the third week. And it just took some adjusting on, you know, when I can do stuff. Because when she's here, I can't do anything. Literally, I can't do anything. <laughs> She's just at the stage where she started crawling. And I do have one of those huge play pens. And it's pretty big. Like it's five feet by seven feet or something. It's pretty big. So um, I can go in there with her. So that's normally what I do. And then that way I don't have to worry about furniture because she's standing up on stuff. So not only is she crawling, she's now standing up. So I want her to be a little bit more confident, I guess. And I wanna make sure we still don't have like a, a gate to block going downstairs and the gate to block going upstairs. So for right now, anyway, I think it's safer in there. And because everything's new, I mean, she was used to coming here, but Everything is new, right? Like her mom not being with her the whole day or whatever. Um, her naps are not the greatest right now. <laughs> Where at home, some days, you know, some of her naps, she might, yeah, sleep half an hour. But then the afternoon nap, she would sleep like two hours. So when she gets to that point with me, then I'm not going to do anything that I have to go upstairs and work, but I can maybe film a video like this because this is at my kitchen counter. And what I plan on doing is, because I have an, um, a camera in there, so I'm gonna put the camera on my iPad and I can have the iPad next to me and I can watch her while I film. I'm just now drinking my coffee, so once in a while, I'm gonna have a drink because after I do this, I didn't know if I wanted to do this first or go upstairs and you know do a bunch of um, filming upstairs, like 
layouts and stuff. And I'm like, you know what? I'm going to, I need to drink my coffee. So I'll do this first. Hopefully I'll do like at least an hour. I might end it with an outro just in case. And then, you know, after an hour and then go upstairs, get all my layouts done. And then maybe if I feel like, you know what, I could do an extra half hour on this because what I've noticed is if I just do exactly an hour, it takes me more than two sessions to, well, this is a smaller square, so it might be okay, but it takes me longer than a session to do the regular size four by six square. More than a couple of sessions. So what I'm trying to do is make it so that I can do a square, basically that I can do two squares a month. And I wanted to do 52 times, you know, doing this diamond painting. And I've missed quite a bit because of life, you know, like it happens. It's okay. Um, so what I'm hoping I can do is kind of catch up. Oops, sorry. My hand kind of stuck to the thing here. Um, and then what I'll do is, you know, uh, I may not put them up right away, like the two sessions. Let's say this week I can do two, which I doubt if I can. Um, but let's see if I can. I'm not going to put the second one right away. I'm going to keep it till the week after. And then if I see if I'm building up a few of them, well, then I'll put a couple of weeks, you know, a couple a week until I'm caught up or whatever. Um, because I would really love to finish this one this year. My plan is to put it behind my reading chair. And in my reading chair is, oops, sorry, again, is in her bedroom. So I'm hoping to do that. And let me see here. Pick that up. Yeah, I'm hoping to do that by the end of this year. Might just be like, or maybe the beginning of next year, you know, by the time I finish it and then I have, I'm gonna have to figure out, this is a big one. Maybe as I get closer to being done, or even maybe now, try to figure out what in the world can I frame this with? Let me know, like big ones like this. So this is a 22 by 43 inch. Like, what do you do to frame it? I do not want to pay $200 for a frame. Like that, to me, that's just insanity. I mean, to each, is, to each their own, but for me personally, there's no way I'm paying that much um, for a frame. Uh, when you have a grandson that is, you know, in hockey and it's just like, it seems that, Every week we have a payment for something, you know, whether it's a hotel, whether it's he needs, you know, new equipment or hockey school is due or, you know, whatever the case may be. Talking about that, it's been a while since I've done this. So oof, I don't even know when we, we finish, but they... We went to a tournament in February. They won the whole thing. They won the gold. It was awesome. At the end of March, it was like the league, um, you know, finals or whatever. So they were playing for gold. Literally, there was 4.2 seconds left. The, the guy from the blue line shot it. Our goalie stopped it three times. When the guy shot it from the blue line, actually, it was at 0, 0.0. The face-off was at 4.2. And our goalie stopped it three times, so the buzzer was going on that whole time. So he stopped trying because, I mean, the game is done. This is not basketball. <laughs> and so they start celebrating. The puck goes in, and the ref calls it a good goal. It's like, what? 
the game's been done for five seconds. Like, what are you talking about? And it doesn't go in a sh in a overtime. It goes directly in a shootout. Well, our kids, our heads are not in it at all. Of course, the other team, they're pumped because uh, they were done. So it, it did the opposite for them. And so they ended up winning the thing. Like, we try to fight it. We had video proof and everything, but they won't reverse their call. They will not reverse the call, even though it was wrong. The two linesmen told the ref, no, the game was done. And he said, I don't give a poop, is what he said. <laughs> so they didn't get the banner for that, although they were the real winners. And then we went to our last tournament. We're just not lucky with refs. Anyway, it hit the crossbar, which is not a goal. And the ref counted it a goal with one minute left to the game. If there would have been five minutes left, our boys probably would have scored because they're good at that. Like if it's do or die, they, they do, right? Mason almost scored with 10 seconds left, but... Oh, so they didn't advance. And uh, so it's all over. It's all over. But you know what? They had, let's say, six tournaments. And they were in five finals. And I'm going to count the one that they won. And the ref took it away from them. So, you know, um, they won three banners. But they made it to the finals every single... Thing except this last one and I'm, I wouldn't be surprised if it just took the winds out of their sails because that that just happened two weeks ago right but that they won a banner and he gave it to the other team ah uh, so now spring hockey starts yay <laughs> we have three tournaments in a month yeah, three tournaments in a month because it ends May, um, May 10th and 12th. And we have three tournaments from here to there. Most of them are in our city, so that's not too, too bad. But we got to pay for one more hotel fiasco, if you will, right? <laughs> It's like, oh my gosh. Ah. My goodness, my goodness, my goodness. Yup. So anyway. Hockey's almost done. And then this summer he has two hockey schools. So we'll have the rest of May to ourselves. And we're not going to the campground this summer, so I'm going to concentrate on my garden. Hopefully I get at least five or six beds because two of the beds right now have garlic in it. So, uh, which I'm excited for the garlic, but I only have three beds and two are filled with garlic. <laughs> so doesn't leave me much room for anything else so we absolutely need to build more I was hoping on six but I think I better put down my expectations and maybe just say one, three this year and then next year add another three you know what I mean like maybe add three until three a year until we have the amount that we want, right? And then it's gonna be a little bit more manageable. So. Yup, so let's see what we can do next. What is that? I think it's this one here, so it's 21. The MC 643. 642. Where's 21? Oof, there. Oh, I put 51 where 21 was. I'm like, what is going on? 
Show me 51 and 21 was where 51 was. <laughs> Uh, it's been a long weekend. We were gone since uh, Thursday to a tournament. We just came home yesterday. So um, we're a little, a little pooped. A little pooped. So uh, So what am I reading right now? I'm reading, I just finished last night actually. We came home, it was like, I don't know, 1.30 or something in the afternoon. So I went upstairs and I got three page kits ready. Like the page kits were already done, but I decided, you know, what, because uh, for Patreon, what I do is, you know, every Thursday, is a sketch. So then I decided which page I was going to use for the sketch. I chose the photos. I even cut down the photos down to size and all that good stuff. So I got three page kits ready last night. Let's do N. What's N? What's N? What's N? 15, which is DMC 414. 15, which is a gray. I'm going to take another sip of coffee. So yes, I even cut all the photos down to size and, you know, made sure that I had the right kind of pattern papers for, you know, a, a two-page sketch because, you know, if it's all six inches and you need it's a two page spread and you need bigger, you know, you need 12 inches. Well, then I will just choose a different page kit. So I got three of them ready to go for this morning, cut out all the digital files. So those are all ready to go. So I don't have to do that this morning because that takes time. Usually I say it's between half an hour to 45 minutes to get a page kit ready, you know, to find the photos, cut the digital files, all that good stuff. So I got three of them ready. So that's my goal for today. I'm gonna get those three ready. So with the baby now, I kind of have to plan ahead. So this is the page for tomorrow and Thursday. And then um, the page for next Tuesday. And the reason I'm already doing next week, one, I want to start trying to be ahead. But next, we're, um, next week, I'm going to have the baby Monday and Tuesday, which means that I have to get stuff done before. Like, I'm, I'm losing days now, right? So that was 15, right? Yep, already done. So... I kind of have to plan ahead. And then after I'm done that, I'm gonna make sure, I'm gonna do F, which is DMC eight. Uh, I'm gonna get pages ready for tomorrow. I'm hoping to maybe do two tomorrow. I'm hoping to do a live for YouTube tomorrow. That's what I'm hoping, even if it's just an hour. Um, I'm not, <sighs> It might be a while before I can do two or three hours anymore, but if at least I can do an hour, um, an hour and 15 minutes, you know, to, to kind of get myself caught up and all that stuff. So, but I'm gonna see two pages tomorrow so I can do the live because then I watch the baby Wednesday and Thursday. And then Friday, you know, we have hockey, so. I can't do anything. Hockey days, I can't do anything. Um, because they have two games that day. So it's like, go, go, go. Plus, it means that he sleeps here. Do you know what I mean? So I can't film if he's here. So I'm going to have to get Tuesday's page done. I'm hoping tomorrow I'll do Tuesday's 
and Wednesday or Thursday's page. And then next week, Wednesday and Thursday, I have a live for my Patreon or my patrons. And then I'm hoping to get like the pages for the week after, right? Try to get the Tuesday and the Thursday done. And then even start on May, like get the page kits ready for May. Get, you know, draw the sketches so that Dave can draw them out or whatever. Okay, so what, what was I doing? F, I think. Was I doing F? Yes. Number eight, which is 317. You know what? I'm going to have to start putting my containers away because right now my containers are all out and I'm like, what letter was, was I doing? Okay, now we're going to do this, which is container 32, which is DMC 820. It's a blue. Beautiful. So I started talking about the books that I'm reading. I'm reading, um, well, I was reading last night, the I, no, the seven year slip, which I love. I gave, a, gave it a 4.5. Which, I mean, that means I love it, love it, love it. I don't, you know, a 4.5 and a 5, it depends. It just depends if I'm going to think about that book a lot. Do you know what I mean? Which I don't know yet. So, and I rated it as a 4 because there's no half stars. I wish there was half stars. And a lot of times when I give a five, a book a 5 book, a 5 stars is because I read it in like, you know, this page was, this book was like 340 pages, let's say. And it took me almost a week to read it. But what I need to realize too is I now have the baby. I now have way less time to read. So was it because of that? Do you know what I mean? So I don't know. I gave it a four for now. It might change. We will see. See here, eight. They should have made eight number eight, right? But eight is actually number 14. So let's go get that. And that is 14 for 13 is the number. This is like confetti down here because it's different colors, but that's okay. We'll get it done. I'm going to try, for now, I'm going to try and go an hour and 10 minutes. So I'm going to go right till 10. And I started basically, you know, like 10 minutes before. It was 51 or something. So that's okay. We'll go right till 10. Is there any more number eight? Then I'll go upstairs and I'll, and then if I feel like doing more after, I might do another half hour, 20 minutes or whatever. Okay, now let's do number 24, which is DMC, which is the sign, like the arrow right there. And it's DMC 728, 728, <laughs> 728. And it's a um, beautiful yellow. So we're getting into some colors. I wanted to do the drabby colors first, like the the grays, the you know, the black, and then leave the nice bright colors for later. So another thing I want to do this week is I want to try to start to meal prep. Uh, I hope so. I have to try to meal prep this week. Meal prep, meal prep, meal prep. And then that way, don't have to worry about, you know, cooking supper and stuff as much. We did end up getting a second freezer. We bought it off Facebook Marketplace, so we didn't have to pay for it full price. We just got a five cubic foot and 
we got a chest. And I know a lot of people were like, no, you need to buy a stand-up freezer. We already have a stand-up freezer. <laughs> so we have a stand-up freezer and we have another whole fridge. Like we bought one of those stand-up ones that's all fridge and one that's all freezer plus a regular fridge. And the reason I want it a chest, one, they're cheaper, and two, okay, let's start with A. What's A? Two, the only reason we need that is for the meat prior of it being changed into something else. So let's say the hamburger, that's not cooked already, but if I make a shepherd's pie and I put it in the freezer, that's gonna be in my stand-up freezer. Hope that makes sense. So that is container 26. DMC 783. And I've been making a lot of waffles because um, of the sourdough discard, which, oh my gosh, they are so good. So instead of throwing out the discard, I'm making a ton of um, waffles. I make, I'm making other stuff with the discard too. Like I made peanut butter cookies, those are in the freezer just in a ball. So when we're ready to have them, we just take out, you know, two or three or maybe four to each. And then we thaw them out and we bake cookies for dessert. And then we only eat two, right? And then we don't have to worry about that at all. Okay. I'd like to start walking too. So today... I wouldn't mind um, going for a walk too. I don't know, if, uh, hopefully I'll have time, even if it's just a half hour walk. I usually can do like three kilometers in uh, an hour. So a little bit over three kilometers. In half an hour, sorry, not an hour. <laughs> so I'd like to do that, but it's the solar eclipse here today. So I have to make sure that I go well before that. So it depends at what time I finish all my pages. But maybe what I can do too is, you know, do a couple of pages, go for my walk, like maybe around noon. And then I'm going to be, it's at three something. So then I'm going to be home in lots of time before the eclipse uh, starts. Um, and it's gonna last two hours. So maybe that would be a good time to do pages, although it's gonna be completely, we're at 99.5% or something coverage. So it's gonna be pretty dark outside, so maybe it wouldn't be a good time to film. And um, maybe reading, I can just be in my room, just reading. The next book I'm gonna read, and I only have like five days to read it, because it's, a, it's a, one from the library. It's Emily Wilde's May, the second one anyway. Um, so we're gonna do S now. It's only 300 and which is container 45, which is DMC 976. It's only like 300 and some pages. Oh, sorry, 340, I think, something like that, 345. But I found last time it was really an easy, easy, fast read, so. And it's on Libby. So when the time comes, it's like, poof, the book is gone, right? <laughs> so, and I'm also reading Iron Flame, but that's my book. So I've kind of put it on pause, not because I don't like it, but because I have these other books that are ending, you know, they're on Libby and they're ending. So I got Kingdom of the Feared. And that is ending in eight days. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I took too many out at the same time. And we have too many hockey tournaments and, and this stuff. I just don't have time to read. And the baby too, right? 
since then, two more books became available. Like they were, I always make sure that the books are like weeks and weeks apart. Like one of them was like 25 weeks. I'm, I'm like, perfect. You know, it might go down a little bit because they'll acquire new copies or whatever, but I'm talking, it went from 20, 20 some weeks to like, oh, okay, it's ready in like four weeks. I'm <laughs> like, no. <laughs> So there's two or three that became available after, and I'm like, no, deliver later. Deliver later, I have four right now that I have to finish. Well, actually I have three now. So I'm hoping to read this other one in three days. And then it'll give me five days to read the other one, which is not a lot, because it's a pretty big book. I think it's over 400 pages. So I might actually try to read them in, in together, like in tandem, because um, even if I just read 20, 30 pages from Kingdom of the Fear every, every day, right? To try to like really put Iron Flame on the back burner so that I can finish that one. And then I had Winter Keep that um, I borrowed two and that was coming due in two days, but nobody else wanted it. So I was able to renew it. So I'm like, okay, good. So I have 21 days for that one. So I'm like, oh my gosh. So I'm, after I finish the other two, I'll probably read that one pretty quickly. And then I'll jump back to Iron Flame. <laughs> but I think what I'm going to do is uh, in between games, I'm gonna go and jump in the truck instead of staying in the arena or whatever. And I'm gonna try and read, or if we, you know, we have to get there um, an hour ahead. So at the rink, I'm just gonna stay in the truck and I'm gonna read. Because, oh, I forgot one little arrow there. Oh well. Just so I can maybe try to get ahead on these books. We're also watching for watching, we're watching Survivor. I think we're one episode behind, so I will probably watch that tonight. Although Mason has a late practice tonight. It's like 7.30 to 8.30. So by the time Dave's gonna get home, it's gonna be like 9.30. So we'll probably watch one thing. So where he's gonna get home so late, I'll probably, you know, once I do all the videos that I wanna do, I'll probably spend the rest of the night. I'm just gonna read. I'm not gonna watch any YouTube videos, nothing like that. I'm just gonna read, 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 read. Okay, let's figure out what that arrow was and I'm gonna put it in right away. I wouldn't mind getting 100 pages uh, done today on that in that new book there may Emily Wilde's may something um, 100 pages or if I find it's a little slow at the beginning oh sorry I hit it again slow at the beginning start kingdom of the fear because it's book number three so it's gonna be I'm invested right I'm invested because I just finished the other one I'm just gonna do that one there's not a lot it is DMC 3782, it's container 49. There's only four, so let's get that done. And that little section will be done. There we go. Kind of like that I did, you know, kind of the outlines. And as I'm getting closer to my, you know, hour, then I can say, okay, well, I'm gonna finish this or something. Right now, I'm just gonna keep doing, you know, the outlines. Well, actually, right now, I think I'm gonna do four. And it's gonna start with the outline, and then it's gonna be some in here, and then I'll do Y. So let's do four. I might be able to finish that big thing there, who knows? Four, it's 29, and it's DMC 798. So, and for Kingdom of the Fear too, like I have the audiobook too. So I think what I'm gonna do is 
um, like I read it as I listen to the audiobook. So then if I read the other one first, and I, even if I'm exhausted, you know, because I've had a big day, at least, because I still read it, right? I still have the book in front of me, and I sometimes actually I notice, okay, I got to put up the speed because I'm reading it faster than the person is reading it to me. Dave says that it sounds like chipmunks, the speed that I listen to. <laughs> and I only listen to it like at, when I actually, when I start a book, I usually start at 1.5. I find one, the one speed is way too slow. I start at 1.5 and then when I'm used to the narrator's voice and stuff, then I put it up to 1.8 and when I get used to that speed, then I put it up to two. And then the rest of the book, I read it in, you know, the speed of two. And um, so when I notice that I'm reading ahead, then I'm like, okay, I need to put, you know, put up the speed or whatever. So I'm hoping to get those two books done before they expire on me. One I have five days, the other one I have like it's either seven or eight. It's not very much. <sighs> we'll get it done. The one I finished last night, I still had. It was the one that was going to expire first, so that's why I worked on it first. But I still had like four days or something. So I'm like, okay. I'm going to uh, finish it tonight, so it's all good. I wouldn't mind finishing this other one in three days. So 100 pages a day. I think tomorrow, today and tomorrow, I should be able to do that. It's the days that I have the baby, then I can't, you know? Because then I only have, I get her at 7.20 in the morning, and by the time my daughter gets here, it's like five, between 5.30 and 5.45, depending on traffic. So um, then I have to get, you know, the evening stuff done, so. I don't have much time to read. It's all good. I do stuff that I can do, right? So um, let's say if I want to make a, uh, a recipe of some kind, I'll get, if she's like content in her little playpen thing there, most of the time I'm in there with her and just playing with her, but let's see if I have to get supper ready. Well, I'll come out one time. And I mean, we're in the same room. When I say come out, I mean, come out of the playpen. <laughs> and she's pretty good at self-play. So I'll come out and take out all the ingredients and start making it. And if she starts like, hey, I want attention, then I'll go back and I'll stay for, you know, half an hour, 45 minutes. And then I'll come back and do a little bit more and until I get the meal in the oven. That's what I did for the, I had to make for last weekend, I wanted to make a banana bread and cake pops for the, the kids. And um, so I did that in increments like that. You know, like I got all the ingredients ready, got the bana bananas mashed and everything. And then, oh, okay back and then I got fine it only took me two times and then I got everything done and into the oven but what I try to do too is you know feeding my sourdough bread and stuff now I try to do it before she gets here so that's done it doesn't take long but it's still 20 minutes right so I think I'm going to need some more. I don't like it when it's almost no diamonds. I feel like I'm always chasing, <laughs> chasing diamonds. Don't like that. So I don't know if I'm going to do the fours over here. I haven't decided. So while I'm thinking whether I'm going to do the fours of the whole thing, 
I'm just gonna do this side first. And then I'll decide. I think usually if I pick up a color, I do that whole section. And then as I get closer to my time, then I try to finish like a section. Like I, I might, you know, if I have 10 minutes left, I can say, okay, I'm gonna do this. I pick a small section to try to finish. Oh, what else could I chit chat about? Oh, I still have to do like laundry today. We had the, you know, I had the house all cleaned and everything before we left, but you know, you come home with some dirty clothes. So I'm gonna get that done. So it's just done. Oop, I already have three. And um, so that'll be done. I still haven't figured out what we're gonna have for supper, but Dave's gonna be home so late. He'll probably, oh, I don't know if he brought something to eat for supper. It's like, we cannot eat out anymore. Like it cost us so much money. Like tournament weekends, we bring stuff, but there's almost, there's always so much stuff to, to do, right? Like to, so many meals to, to have. And this last place had no microwaves, so we couldn't even reheat stuff. We brought our air fryer, but, oh, and most hotels include breakfast, right? This hotel did not. So all of a sudden we had to buy breakfast every morning. I was not happy about that. So we're gonna, for the next time, we're gonna call ahead and find out if breakfast is included. And like we were gonna make smoothies, but our fridge had no freezers. So we couldn't, cause we were gonna go buy small packages of fruits and stuff, like frozen fruits. Well, and frozen vanilla yogurt, no place to put it. So it's like, dang. So we're gonna call ahead this time and we're just gonna plan, you know? Plan ahead for next time. Because restaurant food is not cheap. on this section. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, I don't think there's three fours together. So you know what? I'm just going to do that. <laughs> Still haven't decided if I'm going to do that side, but I don't want to waste those three. Oh, I could have put it right there. Oh, well. Didn't see that at all. Didn't see that at all. I think I'm on, what book am I on? I think I'm on book 30. I'm, I'm only like five books ahead, which is not like a whole bunch. Not a whole bunch, right? But I'm hoping to finish, I'm still gonna be five books ahead if I finish in three days, because you know, every three days it drops one. But maybe if I can finish those two that I'm working on, or gonna start working on today, um, in the next five days, maybe I'll go up to maybe six books ahead. There we go. I'm trying to read more books that are on my Kindle too. Like I'm, I'm reading a lot on my Libby app, but I have a lot of books on my Kindle because um, I have the book E. Um, it's they they send you, you know the the specials of the day or whatever, and I was always looking to see you know which books are free and if it look interesting then I would download it, right? It's free, why not? <laughs> so 
So I have like 1,500 books or something like that. I'm like, okay, I got to start reading. There's some that I purchased, you know, if they were on sale for 99 cents or $1.99 or if it was like the second book in a book I was, you know, a series I was reading or something like that, I would get those books. So I have quite a few. Oh, and I read The Secret Gift by Bethany Atazara. And I had read it already years ago. And book two and book three are now finished. There was, she added to the book anyway. So that's why I didn't mind reading it. She added like 40, 50 pages or something like that. Because it was supposed to be a novella. And it was basically a novella when she published it the first time. And then she decided to make it a trilogy. So then she added it to the first book. So I reread it. I purchased it like all three books together or something. It was really cheap anyway. So on ebook. So I read the first book again in March. So I'm hoping to read the second book in April, like, and then the third book in, Mar in May or something and just get them, get the trilogy done. That's what I'm hoping to do. And those books aren't very long. I think they're 300 pages right on the dot. I think the first one was only like 260 or something like that. So get those, get that series done. I'm usually pretty good at completing series. I have a book where I, you know, have all the, well, I shouldn't say all. I was really good a while back to keep track of, oh, there's a blue there I didn't do, to keep track of the series that I had started. I had them all written down and, you know, like I would color it in when I would finish the other book. I haven't looked at it in a long time, so I should take it out and kind of catch it up, you know, um, add the series that I've started since and which one have I read and which series have I finished? Because that'd be interesting to know how many series I've actually completed, right? That'd be fun to know. Just for, just for me, you know? Kind of fun thing to know. So maybe... Maybe that's something I can do when the baby is sleeping, you know, because she only sleeps right now about half an hour and then she wakes up. So I can sit on my counter here. I feel like I don't have time to start anything big, right? Like even filming one of these, unless I said, okay, I'm going to do half an hour in the morning and half an hour at the afternoon nap. I could do that, but then... I like to take everything out and then put everything away right away. I don't like to leave stuff out. Like even today, I'm going to do it and it's already bugging me. <laughs> I like to put it away. So I'm going to do it today. But because one thing, I'm the only one here. So if I knew that my husband was coming upstairs and, you know, getting his lunch ready and stuff, he's very accident pro <laughs> like spilling stuff and so I'd be afraid he'd spill stuff all over my canvas so because it's I'm on the island right now right so I'd just be afraid that something would get spilled on it so I just put stuff right away away but today I am here by myself so I guess I can I don't have to worry as much about leaving it out but even if it's just me and her, you know, I can, I can, I'm good at spilling stuff too. So especially since I broke my wrist there, my wrist just flings stuff all the time now. Um, so for me too, like I wouldn't want it there. So that would mean I would have to take it out, put it away, take it out again. That's just annoying. But we'll see. If I can do it on the days that I am off. So the way it works is one week I'm going to do uh, two days 
and have three days off. The next week, I'm going to do three days and have two days off. So the days that I only have two days off, I need to pack a lot of stuff in. So like next week, I only have two days off. This week too, because um, one day it's not because of the baby, but because uh, we have hockey. So 28, 797. You know, it doesn't matter if it's local or not. Um, you're running. <laughs> you're running, running, running. So you're not home actually doing stuff. So I have to make sure to pack as many things. And I want to do other videos for YouTube too. Like I don't just want to do a diamond painting. I want to do scrapbooking videos too, you know. Uh, the reason I decided to do this before I did, let's say, a scrapbook layout for YouTube is because um, I want to drink my coffee and I'm like, well, I might as well do it down here and get it done. Now, if today I get done everything that I want to do tomorrow morning, I might get up and do the same thing and have two videos done this week for a diamond painting, right? And if I can do one for YouTube today and maybe one tomorrow for YouTube, that'll be the videos done. I think I'm just gonna try and do two a week right now. And then a live, try to do a live, right? So then it'll be three times on YouTube during the week, but one of them was, is gonna be a live. I think any more than that, it's it's not gonna happen. So I think three is gonna be pushing it, but one, one is alive, so. And I think I'm gonna limit it to one hour. One hour. I still haven't finished my December daily, or my document December, whatever you wanna call it. I haven't finished that. So I kind of want to get that done, you know, but I don't know if I'm in the mood to work on that tomorrow. I don't know. I'm not sure what I want to work on tomorrow. Let's get that out of there. A little burr on the side. Well, I guess I'm doing this stuff on this side. <laughs> I was chitty chattering and I didn't even realize I did the fours on this side too. And now I'm doing the Y's on this side. After I'm done this, I'm gonna look at the time. I haven't even looked at the time and see if I want to try and finish a section, right? Try to finish a section. And how I determine the section is with my three tens, and that's why I like to do those first, because to me that's dividing it into sections. And then I can kind of say, okay, I'm gonna try and get this section done. Like the next time, what happened there? The next time I work on a sesh section, it won't be as bad. What is going on? It won't be as bad because I did a lot of like the, oh, that's where it is. I'm like, I know I did it. It just flicked right off. And this one too, standing right sideways. Um, you know, if I said, oh, I'm gonna try and finish this section this time, it's not enough. But where I did all of that, like now I can say maybe, now I'm gonna try and finish this, right? Like I have 15 minutes left. Can I finish this or can I finish this section? I don't know. Maybe I can finish this section. Okay, what was I doing there? I was doing the Y's. That's done. Hmm. Oh, I didn't do the Y's over there. Let's do the Y's over there. Especially when I did all the other place. And then I'll choose a little section because I think I have 15 minutes left right now. So I'll probably just choose this little section. And I'll do P's last. 
and I'll do P's until it turns to 10 and then I'll just stop. And then if I do again tomorrow, then I can finish whatever section I started first. Tomorrow. I'm gonna try really hard to do tomorrow. The only thing is I think probably my husband is gonna be working from home tomorrow. Dave's gonna be working from home, so it makes it a little harder to get stuff done. Because I'll be in the middle of filming and you know he comes upstairs, so then I have to stop and and already it's gonna be hard with filming upstairs. That's one big, big regret that I have from building the house. And I know it's something we can get done, but you know how things are so expensive now? They probably want a few thousand dollars, you know, to, to put a door upstairs. It's a little ridiculous how things are so expensive now. So I, that's my only regret. It probably wouldn't have cost us very much for me to say, no, 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 I wanted a door. Like, what do you mean? Put a door. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? We'll do 18, which is DMC 600, which is a nice bright pink. So we're going to do this section here because now I have 10 minutes. Well, actually 13 minutes, but 13 minutes. And then my time is going to be up. And then I'm going to go do some more stuff and then I'll decide whether I'll do an extra 20 minutes or not. We'll see. If I still feel good, my back has been bothering me lately. So, you know, if I do stuff for a long time, then it's like, oh, I got to go put heat on my back. And, uh, but I can get up later in the afternoon and maybe do something else, right? Maybe do something else. Okay, well that was done quick. I think I'm gonna do another pink. Let's do number five, which is 19. 19, 19, 19, right there. And I think what I'm gonna do too is I have all of my containers sitting out, so I think I'm gonna put those away. It only takes a few minutes, but at least it's gonna clean up that mess a little bit. And then I'm going to, when I come down, then I don't have to do that part. It'll be done. I have to wash his water bottles. I, you know, I put all the dishes that we, cause we brought dishes with us on the weekend. So I washed all those. But his water bottles, I didn't. So I've got to wash those today. And then it'll be done. Um, that was 19, right? The container. Yes. Now let's do the arrow down, which is container 30. Right there. And that's DMC 814. Just have a little bit of those left, or to do, I guess. Okay. One of the last times I went and I refilled all the containers that I could refill, and there's not that many, um, you know, big bags left. So a lot of these containers that have like this much left, that's it. You know, I don't know if this one is, but a lot of them, that's what it is. So now we're going to do, it's this symbol right there. So that's 16 DMC 498, I think, yes. 498, we'll get this done. Then we'll finish with the P's. And that's exactly what I wanted to do, right? Finish with the P's, oh, I gotta do, you know what, I'm not gonna do the A-B's, I don't like Oh, I lost all my wax. 
no wax left. I don't know where it went because I don't see it. Oh, is that it right there? Maybe. But no wax left. This piece of wax is so... And I mean, I have literally probably hundreds of wax, right? But I'm using that one in its entirety. <laughs> it's just in the, the container, so I'm like, it's fine. It's fine, it's fine. It still works. You know, I bought those... Um, they're wax pens. I'm, I'm not sold on them, you know. I, one, I find they're too small to hold. And I find like, I must be like a heavy, like heavy on the pen or whatever. Okay, so the next one is 31. Uh, we're gonna do number six, which is DMC 815. I must push hard on my pen. So, um, I find that I, I break the tip or smoosh down the tip of the pen too much. So I like I like these. My husband made this for me. So, and I have a ton of them, a ton of them. Cause we were thinking, oh, maybe, oh, I forgot an arrow down. Cause for a while they were like, oh, maybe we'll sell some. And then we decided, nah. They take too long to make and I mean, Dave works full time. So like he would have no time to himself, right? So we decided against it. So I just have a ton of pens <laughs> and I use the same ones over and over again. Well, what I try to do is, you know, choose one for, um, For a diamond painting so um, I have been on the same diamond painting going on two years right so P let's do P P P P P P number 11 which is DMC 334 let's see how much we can do in seven minutes 100% I'll be able to finish this little section here and then we'll start on the other ones. I'm, I'm kind of happy with how much I got done today. I think we'll definitely finish the other, the rest of it next session, which is good because like I said, I wanna try and get one done per, like two things done a month. That's what I want to get done. So the next session, if I finish and it's at like 45 minutes, I'm going to open the next one and just keep going like in the same video because, um, like I said, I want to get as many done as possible. I want to do 52 this year, like 52 sessions, but I've missed, I've missed quite a bit, probably a whole month altogether. So we're gonna try and play catch up. We'll see, we'll see how it goes. But you know, anytime you you do something new, right? Something new changes in your life. It takes a minute to adjust. Like, it's gonna take me a minute to get used to having an 11 month old <laughs> around and just go, go, go. I'm not as tired as I thought I was gonna be though. So that's good. And another thing is um, I wanna start walking with her. Now, every day I've had her, it's been raining and disgusting. So I'm hoping tomorrow is gonna, not tomorrow, Wednesday. I'm hoping Wednesday is gonna be a beautiful day and I can take her for a walk. I think I'm gonna go for a walk today by myself. And I can start listening to um, Kingdom of the Feared. Because remember I said I have the audiobooks. So if I'm out for half an hour, might as well be listening to a book. And then later on tonight, maybe I can, 
do another half hour in that book. So if I do one hour in that book today, I'll make some good time. And I have the physical book too, like, well, not physical, the ebook from Libby so that I can um, read it at the same time, except for times like that where, you know, if I'm upstairs and I'm getting page kits ready or I'm cleaning for 15 minutes, I'll stick a book on, you know? Um, it, you know, it, it all depends. Some days, right, you just want quiet. Are you like that? Some days I just want quiet so I don't listen to anything. And some days I like to hear an audiobook. So I'll listen to an audiobook. I almost never listen to music. I figure, not that I don't like music, I just like to be productive. I find, because I want to read 100 books in a year, you know, I want to I want to consume as many good things as I possibly can, you know? So I want to read at least 100 books a year. I think if there's only been once I, I read 85, one year. And, um, and the first, very first year that I started, I think I read 72 in 2016. I used to be a big reader when I was a kid. And then I kind of stopped when I went to university because, oh man, studying was enough, right? <laughs> and then I started again when my kids were little, little, when they would play outside, I would just take a book and let them play so I could watch them and then I would read. And then I stopped when, when I had to be running after them, right? <laughs> and then I started again at work uh, overnight when I wasn't as tired. And then as the years came on and I was just exhausted at night, I couldn't, I was too tired. I couldn't concentrate on reading. What I would do though, is I would do diamond painting. I would bring smaller ones and then I would um, listen to an audiobook, you know, in just one ear so that you could, and I had my headset on the other one. Cause sometimes at night it does kind of, it did kind of die down. And if you just stared at your monitors, oof, it was, it was difficult, you know, cause you can't fall asleep, but it was, it was a struggle. You know what I mean? You, you started feeling sick and you like, you just feel so tired. And, um, anyway, so I did then, and then I stopped again. And then in 2016, I mean, I still worked in 2016 but I did most of the reading when I was home. And I've never looked back. It's, you know, it's been eight years and I've read, I think I'm close to 800 books since 2016. And that doesn't include the books I read before because I couldn't tell you which books I read years ago. I don't know. So I like Goodreads. I like to be able to keep track. And I don't mind rereading a book. I'm not a big person to reread books, but like The Secret Gift, where I was like, I, I mean, I remembered a lot of it. And where she added 50 pages, I was like, oh, I don't know if I just don't remember this part or if this is the new part. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> so... Um, I just, it's 10 o'clock, but you know what? I am going to finish this row here. What am I doing here? I'm just going to finish that row of peas. I'm not going to finish all the peas, but I'm going to finish this row. Because I like things finished. Hopefully I feel like doing a second session today or to, yeah, today and then tomorrow. And then this way 
I'll definitely, because next week um, I have her Monday and Tuesday. So if I was to do a video for next, although, yeah, I don't like doing one of these and I don't post it for like a week or two because then it's, because I chat about what's going on, I guess it doesn't matter. I was going to say it's so outdated, but it doesn't matter. Okay. Yay. Okay. <laughs> I said I wasn't going to do up here. And I am doing up here. Okay. I'm going to stop it here. And maybe I can come back after I finish upstairs and maybe finish a couple... Maybe finish that day. Yeah, if I do... Well, if I only do 20 minutes, then no. But, um, you know, finish another, another section on this video. So I decided to keep going. So I did two videos already. I went on a 40 minute walk. And now I'm gonna do a little bit more of this. We're gonna start again with P, which is DMC 334. Just while I kinda catch my breath again. Just walked in from outside. I decided what we were gonna have for supper. I make like a homemade barbecue sauce with barbecue, like for chicken. And Dave, uh, maybe a week ago said, it's been a long time since we've had that for supper. So I thought I would do that today. And um, just mashed potatoes or something. I checked in her freezer and we only have one more thing of the veggies. What I do is we, we go to Costco and we get a whole bunch of veggies. We get like the colored peppers, mushrooms, and then, you know, your regular, um, um, carrots, onions. And then I cut everything up when I get it in and I divide it into bags and I put them in a freezer. I put my spices on and everything and it usually makes between five and six meals. Makes six, but the first time that I cut it, I make supper, you know, with, with that that night and then I freeze the rest. So then for five meals after that, I just go Oh, we want to have that for supper? I don't cut baby potatoes. And I don't put a lot of that because we're trying to cut down, you know, on that kind of stuff. But I put a few in, like maybe six baby potatoes. So we get like three baby potatoes each. Like that's not very much. And um, the rest is all veggies. And sometimes we'll also get like cauliflower or broccoli and put it in. And then when I go to make supper, I just heat up my oven. I have a cast iron frying pan. I bought, a, I think it's 15 or maybe 17 inch frying pan. It is massive. It doesn't fit on my stove. Like none of my rounds on my stove can accommodate that. But what I can do is I put it in my oven just lives there all the time and it's well seasoned and everything. So when I'm ready to do the veggies, I just turn on the oven, wait, you know, maybe 20, 25 minutes till the cast iron is nice and piping hot. Then I take the veggies right from frozen state and just throw them in and the potatoes aren't frozen, but I just throw them in at the same time. And within maybe 40 minutes, everything is nice and cooked and, you know, has a nice, color to them and then while that's cooking in the oven I mean I have nothing to do except cut like maybe six potatoes right and while that's cooking we'll make our whatever meat we want to do whether it's chicken or chicken wings or ribs or whatever the case may be you know Italian sausage so I love that but we only have one left now, I think he has to stay in for hockey tonight. So I think what I'll get him to do is maybe go to Costco and get just the veggies. We need eggs too. They won't go bad, him being at a hockey for an hour, right? So 
go get that. It, they'll just stay in the car for an hour. And then tomorrow, what I'll do is, since I don't have the baby, tomorrow afternoon, I'll just cut um, everything up. I'll cut everything up and make, you know, five or six more suppers. And that's what I want to do more of is uh, get, what do you call it? Get way more stuff done up ahead of time like that. And then, you know, it saves time. I can do a lot of the cooking in one of the days and then, then I just take stuff out. I do the same thing with garlic. Like we, you pay $1 for three gar garlics, right? Well, we get the one at Costco, which is, I think it's like $5, maybe $5.99. And there's a lot of garlic. So we'll get that. And I take, it takes about an afternoon and I peel them all. And then what I do is I double bag them because they'll make your freezer smell, but I don't chop them or anything. I just leave them in cloves and put them in my freezer. For now, that's what I'm doing. I think eventually I might put them in my uh, food processor and put them into pucks, but I'm not at that, I'm not at that stage yet. I'm like, okay, I'm okay with just doing the clothes for now. I wanna do that with ginger and garlic because every time I need ginger, you know, we have to go get some. So if they're frozen into pucks in my freezer, then I'll have what I need. Here, last week, what I ended up doing was I shredded a whole bunch of Parmesan and extra sharp cheese because it was getting close to the ex expiration date. And now they're just done. So this week, I'm going to do a fettuccine Alfredo. And my chicken, not my chicken, my cheese is already all taken care of. Okay, so we need tea, which is 35 which is DMC 8.95. Okay, so I'm gonna do that. And get that done. Okay. There, there. And we'll do that. So yeah, I have quite a bit of stuff now that, you know, I have ready in the freezer. Like I have a bunch of strawberries. So when we do um, smoothies, we have that in there. We have a bunch of blueberries. I have a bunch of um, rhubarb, which I got to start making stuff with that. I got to look for good recipes with rhubarb. I got to do that. I know strawberry rhubarb pie, yum, right? But I don't want to do too many of those, but once in a while. I was, I'm wondering if we can make tarts instead. And then that way, you just take out one each, right? And then it's not a full pie that you got to eat through. <laughs> Whenever you have a little craving, you have one little tart each, and then that's it. The rest can stay there until um, you're ready for it. It's like I make these, they're not really, I make meat pies, but that contains only meat. I also make these same dough, but then I put hamburger, I put, okay, we're working on tea now. I don't know if I said that, that's $8.95. Um, but there's hamburger, Italian sausage. You cut up a whole bunch of potatoes, carrots, I think celery. You mix everything up and then you make a bunch of um, pastry and you make those and you cook them and then you put them in your freezer. I make those and they last forever. Like it makes a whole bunch. 
it makes a whole bunch so that I don't, you know, have to do this too, too often. And it lasts, like, now that there's only two of us, I think it made, I think I made a double batch. That's what it was. So I made 24. <laughs> so it lasts a long time. And they're so big that I can't eat a whole one. So usually we'll share, me and Dave, and then he'll have, he doesn't find it's enough, but then he can supplement with something else. You know what I mean? Like maybe cook a hot dog too or something like that. So, oh, it's, uh, saves a lot of time when you can have stuff done and you just take it out. I love I love cooking. Don't get me wrong. I love cooking. I love baking, but I just have so many things to do that a lot of times I'm exhausted and I'm like I just can't. You know, I'm tired. I just can't anymore. You know what I noticed? There's quite a few that I missed some letters. I missed a Y, which is container 28. So let's do those. Let's do the missing ones here. So I missed that, and I missed that right there, which is container 32. So let's do that. I think I'm just going to do, I think I did an hour and 10 minutes this morning. So I'm just going to do like 20. Okay, what's going on with this thing? It's all crooked. There we go. I'm gonna do like 20 minutes and then I'll go film my last video that I'm gonna film. It's 42, I took out the chicken we're gonna have for tonight. And I'll make the barbecue sauce as soon as I'm done uh, upstairs. So that's DMC 937 and it's like a little, the little, that thing there. That's right there. So that's gonna finish this section which is cool. So that means I will have finished two sections. I didn't do the AB color, like the number two on there. I don't like doing that. It always pulls out my wax, I hate it. Now they say to, you know, use, keep that as your last thing. So when you replenish your wax, don't try to do your ABs right away, like, diamond paint with it for a while and then do the ABs because then it won't pull as easily, right? So, <sighs> it is what it is, I gotta get it done, so I'll do it, but I'll wait, usually what I wait is I wait for this section to be done and then I just do those. <laughs> I don't keep them last because I love them, I keep them last because I don't like them. <laughs> I know a lot of people love them. Oh, I forgot a couple of T's there. But I just don't like putting them on. I, I think they're cute. I just don't like putting them on. But I do think they're cute. Okay. Oh, and I when I went for my walk, I listened to my book for 40 minutes. And oh, if you want to read that trilogy by Carrie Manoskalko, doing the audiobook, like you can still read the physical book, but doing the audiobook at the same time is awesome. Like they they don't have a full cast that it, it, it's not that. Ooh, look at this one. It's th just going this way. The same color. Change the symbol. I know it's different, but when you're going like this and you've been going for a while, whether that symbol goes this way or this way, you could kind of miss it. Or sometimes people um, diamond paint upside down. That would be very confusing. So they could have just chosen a different symbol. It would have been easier on everybody. So when I came home, I looked where that was in the physical, well, not the physical book, but the ebook. So I'm on page 40 and it's got 400 and 
39 pages, I think. So I still have a ways to go. I almost have 10% done though. So I think after I finish everything, I'm gonna get our supper kind of situated. I'll make the barbecue sauce, you know, have it ready, have it in the container. Just stick it in the fridge until it's time to put it in the oven because we're gonna have supper. I might do supper at the same time because I don't like to eat after eight. So I might have my, I might make it so it's ready for five and he can just eat when he gets home. And um, that way, you know, it is what it is. So, oops, I'll get this done here. So 40 pages. Once I'm done upstairs, I think I want to start the other one first because that's the one I need to finish first. I have like three days left. Then the Carrie Maniscalco one. Three days is quite a bit, right? Because three days, if I do 100 pages a day, once that book becomes my main book, then it's going to go fast. And if I just do f even 40 pages in this book until I finish the other one, I'll be like 20% through it or 25% through it for sure. And I'm already invested because it's book three, so it's really good. And tomorrow I'm gonna go for a walk again. And I'll listen to the book for sure. And every day that's gonna be nice, I'm gonna force myself. And I think if I do it so it's the same time every day, so at noon, no matter what I'm doing, go for a walk. And I think it's a good time for the baby too because she goes to bed at 10. And even if she sleeps two hours, right? As long as we go like, you know, even if it's 12, 15, 12, 30, if I feed her her lunch first, she eats fast, like she's a fast eater. So don't have to worry about that. Even if she doesn't like it, she shakes her head no and still opens her mouth. <laughs> oh, she's funny. She is a funny little gal. So I'm so happy that I get to spend those precious years, you know what I mean? Like those formative years, right? They're so stinking cute. They just do such cute things. All ages are cute. Like we still love that we spend so much time with Mason, right? And he's 11. So um, I love that. Love that. go just like that oh, a little burr on that one so we don't want that I forgot an end there too Jeez, Louise I forgot a lot of them as it gets smaller and smaller like the space that you have to do I think it's a little harder to miss stuff because you have less area to look at so it should oh i forgot a t <laughs> as i'm saying that and t i just did you know the one before this but it's such confetti i find this part but i love it because i find i get bored like when there's a lot of the same color Find I get bored. I'm like, I can't wait to change the color, right? And what I try to do is do all the boring colors, if you will, first, and then I keep the fun stuff for last. There we go. So the two pages this morning went really well. So another thing I'm gonna try and do this afternoon I might be able to, because I can't physically read a book when I'm doing stuff like that.
but I need to edit those videos, right? I need to edit this video. I need to edit the three videos and upload them to their respective places. And I have hockey videos to do too. I have four I think I need to do. And I want them done before um, this weekend because then I'm going to have more to do. So I like to finish one thing before another thing starts. So, And I told the parents, you know, oh, I forgot a whole bunch of teas here. I didn't go over to here. So it's okay. We'll do the teas, which is... Uh, where are you? 35. Now I forget. Yeah, it was up and down. I'm like, should I have done those? But no, it was up and down. See, that's what I mean. The, the thing is too close. And that's the one I did, 42 right there. When I saw those, I was like, oh, was I supposed to do that? Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Okay, so it's okay that I forgot one because there's a few here. So we'll do those. Then we'll look to make sure. Did I do those already? I'll be able to tell because even though I said I was going to put all the containers away, I didn't do that. I just finished and I'm like, oh, I got to go upstairs. And I went upstairs right away. Right away. Okay. Let's do, did we, was that the one we did? 38, do I have 38 out? I don't think so. I might, I think there's a few I did put away though. So I might've done this and I just put it away. So should I try to pick other section to try to finish before I'm done for today or this one here I think is kind of big but maybe I can do the O's over there and have that done if I didn't have another video to do I would say ah we'll make this one you know, a two hour one, because <laughs> I haven't done any in so long, so. Okay, that's done. What was that? 38, I need to keep the container close to me. Where did I put it? There it is, 38. So maybe, let's do O, and then it'll finish that and then we'll be done. So that's 41. Uh, 38, 41. Yeah, I might have put the, because I went and put that, that one away just now. So I might have done that. Okay. O is... DMC 935. It's like a dark brown. It Dark green, brown green. It's pretty, pretty, pretty. There's quite a bit there, but it's gonna finish this section. So, yay, yay. Okay. I'll do this here. Just like that. Okay, Oof, so if I do some tomorrow, I'll be able to get that done and a big piece on the other one too, which is good. I can't remember if this one was started already. I can't remember. When I edit the video, I'll be able to tell if this was like my second time doing this or is this my third time like tomorrow will that be my third time i don't know because i want to try and finish them in two times but that's how tired i am <laughs> something i did 
You know, three hours ago feels like it's a different day. <laughs> oh my gosh, when you sleep in hotel rooms and it's just go, go, go. Like the time just escapes you, right? Time just escapes you. Okay, almost done this part. Almost done this part. Okay. Yay. Go. Okay. What else could we talk about? I can't remember which book I just finished because those two books there wasn't that long. Oh, I think I finished Winter Keep. Yes, I finished Winter Keep by Kristen Kershaw, which it has two books. And that's one of the books that I have from the library. I have the physical book from the library and I have the audio book. Because after I, I always like to have one in audio. So... I'm going to still try to read it physically because if, you know, if it's my main book that I'm reading, I'll read most of it like physically. And then when I get tired and I feel like my brain can't keep up, then I'll put the audio book on for a while and it keeps me, it gets me going. And then, you know, I can stop the audio book after a bit and then keep reading it. Okay, so that's it. So if you're enjoying these videos, if you wouldn't mind giving me a thumbs up, leave me a comment down below. And I want to thank you so much for watching. Bye.